Professor Indrajit Dubey, Vice Chancellor, National Law University of Meghalaya, Silong, Pravin Bakshi, Commissioner or Sachiv Siksa Vivak Meghalaya Sarkar ke saath aaj media se rubaru hue. Press conference BALLB, BSLLB, BBLLB, BBALLB, Kaksa Bara ke baad sabhi paaj varse dore digri kanun karikram aur kanun mein slatha kutter karikram LLF corporate kanun mein pramuk ke baare mein jankari saaja karte hue kaha. जुलाई 2023 से नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटी मेगलाय में पहली बैच की रूप में शुरू हो रहा है। एंड यू नो ट्राई टू डिसिप्लिनेट नॉलेज एंड द लास्ट थिंग व्हिच वर फोकसिंग मोर इन दिस यूनिवर्सिटी इज द सेट ऑफ इंटेंशन दैट मींस फ्रॉम द कोर्सेस और द प्रोग्राम व्हिच वर गोइंग टू इनिशिएट and university continuously and its school continuously engage into the different research so that near domain of the knowledge been created and it's been disseminated. Having said that, <coughs> uh, in the university program, let me you know highlight now the university program. In the university program we have basically introduced the concept of flexible learning and wow. And uh, we are basically uh, building this particular understanding on the UGC's proposition of choice-based trade system, where the student can learn whatever they want to learn. Uh, in generally, in a university program, uh, we generally package the courses. That means if you want to go for a BA program or BSc program or LLB program or master's program, university say you are going to get the degree if you are studying A, B, C, D, E, F subject. But what we are telling here that we are going to tell you that when you are going to take degree, how much grade you have to complete. But you can choose the courses what you want to learn. So here there is a possibility to learn many interdisciplinary courses or the courses which might not be from that particular university. And that's what basically we to contribute into the creative learning what we were uh, talking about. Now, second thing is that we have a uh, <coughs> large uh, uh, allocated credit for the non-taught courses. Non-taught courses basically are uh, advisory support courses. That means, you know, student can initiate some of the research. They can, uh, you know, uh, do a self-study, but that is always a guidance. That means it is it is beyond the classroom. It is more with the societal engagement, and that's what we are talking about the community engagement. That means we are trying to creating the next generation who are socially sensitive and who can really able to or or have a capacity to solve the societal problem. Uh, in this particular university, we are basically the flipping the concept of the program. Like, you know, as I have explained before, that, you know, in a university, there is a uh, packages of the courses. But here we are telling that while we are, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, can, you can choose more and more courses uh, from the electives which the schools of the universities is going to promote. And in the university, we have a several interdisciplinary courses, and those particular uh, courses will be, uh, you know, promoted. That means, you know, the newer understanding developed by a school, they are going to promote it as a, a course. And 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 in these particular process, people will be able to, uh, you know, learn the things which might be emerging, which might be rethought, or which which might, you know. Uh, able to solve the problem in the future generation. So what we are telling that our um, university uh, is more of a futuristic in nature. So that means it is not only thinking about today, but it is also thinking about that what uh, university should position itself in the future, right? So in the university, we will have a three very distinct 